Um, my name is LaDawn Jones. I'm the Director of Admissions and Advising at the College of Professional and Continuing Studies. I've been here for about eight years. When I was getting my degree, I'm a first generation student, so no one was really there to help me out. So while I was doing that, I, I was really confused about how to do things and you know, why, why change your major so many times? Because nobody said, hey, don't do that. And wh so while I'm doing that, I'm like, maybe this is a role for me to help other people navigate the system that's really confusing to them. And then when you throw in military with it, coming back out of the military, in this last couple of decades, we've had more people leaving the military and entering an education than we ever have since World War II. Well, the first thing, they, they, they want to get an education just like I did when they were coming out. But what, what I feel like they go through once they, they arrive at a college is that they're thrown into classes with a bunch of 19 and 20 year old kids while they've been a lot of times on a battlefield. You know, so they're coming from a completely different angle than, than what they, when the people they're in classes with. So I think it's important for the all universities, and especially the University of Oklahoma, to have a home for them, to have a, a place where they can gather, to have camaraderie, and to find their own people. Because they're going to search out every military person in every area that they've ever been in. It's almost like they have a laser focus to know who's been in. And um, and I think it's important that, and, 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 and special that OU is really keyed into that and, and created a space for them to be comfortable. Over the, the last eight years that I've been here, I've watched OU go from kind of having veterans on their radar to really supporting veterans. We went from having a, a veteran center that was across campus uh, with limited parking and, and not a lot of help for students to actually creating a veteran center in the middle of campus where it's easy for them to come in the middle of their classes to study, to get help with other veterans. What I'd like to see happen in the next eight years is get some Pat Tillman scholars on the scholarship walk of fame. That would be a great benefit for it. It's a big scholarship. It's as important as a Rhodes Scholarship. Why don't we have those guys on there? I'd love to see that.